Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Let's continue our story with part 3. Don't forget to comments and likes for more videos. Our female protagonist was sweating, she was nervous. <laughs> Prince Dylan was watching her with confirm eyes. How do I deal with this? Her mind was blank, our female protagonist can't think of anything. She feels dizzy. Are you? No. It's not this is, our female protagonist wants to deny it, but Prince Dylan shout was your chest hurt too? He said this with confidence. There was a long silent. Ah. Uh. Our female protagonist and Kyle were genuinely confused and stunned. Our female protagonist Linali was going to explain. Your Highness. But Prince Dylan cut her by saying, when I help you up I touch somewhere near your chest. <laughs> it's all swollen. He tell her with complete seriously and confused face. <laughs> Kyle can't stop his laugh. Then our female protagonist realize. What was Prince was talking about? Does that mean? She was a girl isn't exposed? Ah. Uh. Felling a wave of relief wash over her. The frustration vanished. Our female protagonist grip her cloth and made an excuse that she seemed to have gotten kicked in the chest. Crown Prince Dylan hold her shoulder and command her let me see if there are any fracture. Ah. Uh. Linali was startled our female protagonist I wild in shock know that not okay. <laughs> she wants to say something. Kyle stopped Prince Dylan and said he will treat him well. So don't worry. <laughs> Prince Dylan was not expecting him to treat Liam again. Our female protagonist have tears in her eyes of joy. She was saved. Senior Chrysia, he also saved me from Crown Prince Dylan before. He actually a good person. She thanks him with her eyes. Our female protagonist imagination that she held for him as a good person was crashed when he whispered. Don't worry Dylan was very slow. Lin Ali got annoyed. She wants to take back what she said about him earlier. This person just finds this situation interesting. Kyle star using magic for her treatment. Our female protagonist was covered with magic power. He start the treatment. When treatment was over Kyle remind her. Your injuries were heal. It should not hurt anyone and also won't leave obvious scar. He wipe her face and remove cut with his hand. Our female protagonist no can move her leg freely without any hurt. When she was poisonous Kyle was the one saved her as well. She can see senior Chrysia magic was so powerful and effective. Prince Dylan didn't like Liam closeness with Kyle. Prince Dylan though even at swollen Lori's chest. Was soft likes a girl's. He still feels her in his hand. Ah. Uh. He was silent for a moment. What I was thinking. No. No he was hurt. And Lori's is a male. He gave himself a confident answer. Our female protagonist politely thanks him for healing her out today with soft voice. It's not a big deal. Hmm. Kyle chuckled lightly. Prince Dylan was extremely annoying. Clearly he was the one who saved him, he not only thanks him but and he also smile at Kyle. Why he was being unreasonable. Prince Dylan could not stand that's feeling. He feels like a abandoned. Shortly after that her attackers were caught. Main culprit was a son of Earl Dambell was arrest. This ends up with three students being forced out of school. Few days later, Department of Wizards and Department of Knights were practice for tournament. Our female protagonist was in attacked position and Angie was defended himself. In their practice match Angie lost his sword. Phew Liam you was really strong. Hmm. Our female protagonist thanks and complimentary appreciated him. Angie chuckled lightly. <laughs> okay, I can't keep losing. Lin Ali smile. She likes Angie positive vibes. When Lin Ali help him getting up, they heard someone voiced. You guys were working hard. Ah. Uh. Our female protagonist say hello to senior Chrysia. Kyle cut her. Just called me Kyle, there no need to use honorifics. All so sudden, she unexpectedly confused. These boys seem to like you so much. Kyle suddenly lean in his wolves over our female protagonist. She was startled with sudden attack. When our female protagonist see a wolf around his neck, she got scared. Was he dead? But it doesn't seem to be the reason? She started patting the wolf's head with love. Kyle blackmail our female protagonist if you didn't call him by name again. He was going to tell everyone that you are a girl. He whispered slow. Kyle smile like an evil person. <laughs> Linali know this person likes to tease her. Too much. Even others might know, I'm a woman. It's still embarrassed to call a man without using his first name. She got blush and agreed to his condition for not letting her escape. 
Kyle eyes wild in shock, he meaning full grin. <laughs> when our female protagonist was playing with wolves he was watching them with peace of mind. But there was someone who did not like their interaction, he was furious. Hey, lorries. Our female protagonist was about to get up, unpleasant voice came from above her, this voice sounded somewhat familiar, she looked up and saw the owner of the voice. <laughs> She was complete stunned, in front of her was Crown Prince Dylan, he invite her for practice swordmanship with him. Our female protagonist was genuinely confused, huh, but why me, she doesn't want to be involved with him anymore, why they all want to tease her like this. She was beyond annoying. Arnold watched their interaction with Liam. He was genuinely confused, wants to know why they are like to pester Lori so much. Eldick have no idea, he was not interested. Arnold thought Liam's face was really cute. He calmly responded. When Eldick heard that he frowned. Arnold feel Eldick profile seemed colder than before, wants to know, what's happened? Eldick wants to stay away from him, he asked did you have that kind of hobby? Arnold was confused for a moment. <coughs> then pissed and shout it's not like that. Our female protagonist and Crown Prince Dylan were practice swordmanship. Linali no Crown Prince Dylan was indeed stronger than before, there also a gap between them in strength. <coughs> Her hand were trembling. Is this Crown Prince Dylan true power? They fight neck on neck. Prince thought, although his strength was not enough, but he has advantages in speed and skill, there are very few flaws, he frowned. Crown Prince Dylan's strength overpower her. And our female protagonist lost her grip on her sword, she lost her first fight. With a loud thud she fell far down, huh, it's hurts, she shouted in pain. Prince Dylan's heart began to beat violently. He was staring at our female protagonist with wild eyes who looked beautiful despite her sweats. <coughs> he was extremely annoying with his thought, as expected your highness Dylan, you are very strong. She was genuinely polite with him. Crown Prince Anxious continued on full swide, why? Why does he look so cute? Hey! You have to calm down, he was a boy, this is purely a competition in power, our female protagonist was not his opponent. She clenched her fists, I must become powerful, she made up her mind. When she was about to get up, she could not lift herself, she feels pain. <coughs> Looks like her back is injured from fall, Prince Dylan wants to know what going on? But our female protagonist denies that nothing happened. But Prince Dylan know he was in pain because he read his face. He wants to give her his hand to stand up, but Kyle cut him. Oh. Liam are you okay? Prince Dylan and Kyle were stunned. <coughs> oh. Our female protagonist was momentarily stunned. Kyle meaning full grin. Oh. How strange, Dylan can you actually do this kind of thing? Prince Dylan calmly reply, this guy got injured while practice with me so of course, it's my responsibility. Kyle calmly respond. But I can heal him with magic. It's look like there's something crackle, atmosphere was tension. <laughs> Prince Dylan was beyond annoying. Immediately, Crown Prince Dylan shouted at our female protagonist. Stand up. I really offer you this chance to be pulled up, you should feel honored, right? Kyle also immediately asked hi Liam let me help you heal. <coughs> Our female protagonist was back off. She wants to know, why are these two suddenly become so terrifying? You will hold my hand right? No my hand. <coughs> Both side were not ready to back down. They were competing with each other. <coughs> and because of them Linali was in trouble. She have to choose between them. She suddenly could not stand it anyway more. She hurry shout I can stand up on my own, both were stunned. Oh, huh, forget it, you can already stand up. Kyle watched Prince Dylan back and clicked his tongue in amazement. Prince Dylan said, let's go Kyle. Practice time was over, she st watching him leaving with confused eyes. After Kyle left, Lin Ali was confused. Our female protagonist guess. He was angry about her earliest. It's over. <laughs> at Polta's Academy Knights Dormitory. Our female protagonist lie down in her bed. Ah. Uh. Day was finally over, she was so tired. This must be mental exhausted. Lin Ali thought why would Crown Prince Dylan want to save her, and even talk to her. Today he also acted like, he was worried about her. She was genuinely confused. Our female protagonist wants to know not only poisoning, can other things that will happen in the future will changed? Suddenly she sit up. Know that Crown Prince was a man who and her entire family, she can't let her guard down. Then her eyes fell at a letter on the table. Oh yes, I received a letter. Let's me see who sent her. Linali Loris. Hey, that's my name, it's mean Liam send this to me. Is he well? Let's see, when she open it. 
not good. We received an invitation from His Highness the Crown Prince, asking us to attend a dinner party hosted by royal family, so please hurry up and return. Liam, our female protagonist was shocked. Dinner party at this time. Was there a dinner party like this before? Her hand was trembling. I have to attend the dinner party as a girl? In the present of Crown Prince. What I can't let him know that I'm Liam's substitute. Shit. What should I do?